Hi guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, I am on a mission today. I've got a number of plants that need to be sorted. I hope that you are all doing well. And if you do have any little bits of chores, planted chores that you need to get done, today is a good day to do it. So I'm gonna chop up some plants, gonna be doing some propagating. Um, I've got some plants on poles that I need to tackle. And I've got some very sad looking plants that clearly need repotting. Um, this one, oh my goodness. This is the Maranta Silver Band and check out the roots. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, she's very rooty. Look at that. She's exploding out of this pot. So we need to upsize the pot. Um, this is just a cutting of my Epipremnum Marble Queen. I want to put this in soil because it's done absolutely nothing, even though it's been under plant lights, it's grown nothing. And I've actually lost, I think, two leaves. So clearly not happy. Um, this is a part of my philodendron silver sword that I rescued. Uh, the rest I'm giving away because I'm kind of over this plant. I've had it for the longest time. Um, at one stage it looked fantastic and now it's back to juvenile. I'm kind of, I guess I'm just very impatient, but I've kept this very small part and the rest I'm giving to a friend. This plant, I actually, I put it on the pole thinking I wanted to size it up, which of course I do want to do that still. But realistically, I should have just done a cutting and started it like smaller, basically. So we're going to be tackling that. And then I also want to chop up my Splendid, but we'll see how much we can get done. I feel like I'm fairly prepared. I've got my box of tools behind me and I dragged out all my soil. So I'm going to do this down on the floor as per usual because I'm too messy and I will meet you down there. Okay, where to begin? I think I'm going to start with this plant actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut this plant. Um, oops, I forgot my toolbox. And I have already cleaned my chacoteers and stuff, so we are good to go. So what I'm planning on doing is take this off. I wonder if it's rooted in there. Oh, it has. Okay, so this is going to be a bit tricky. And then I've sellotape bits on as well. Oh, I can see roots in the pole. Oh no. Maybe this is a bad move. But yeah, I can actually see roots in the pole. I wonder if I should just leave it. Oh, no. I want to start smaller and then I can put this plant somewhere else. Right. So I think I'm going to cut it about here. I don't know if you can see that. Just here. Yeah. Okay, so that's one cut. And then I've got another one just here. I think I'm going to cut that one. Well, I mean, this leaf has a bit of damage anyway, so I'm going to cut it there. How many have I got in here? Do I have any others? Oh, and then there's this one on the side. Maybe I'll just leave that one for now. Now, hopefully this top bit Okay. Oops. That's okay. So 
So this is the bit that I want on the pole. So I'm just gonna put that to one side for now. I have this piece. I'm just gonna take that leaf off and that will go on the pole with it. She looks pretty cute. What else have we got going on here? I think what I'm gonna do next is tip the camera down and I actually wanna get it out of this vessel and do some serious surgery. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a procedure, but. Wow. That's a lot of pond. Oh, sorry, letter. Way too much letter. Okay, some of these roots do not look happy. So yeah, we're gonna have to do some serious surgery. Okay, uh, I think we've got to a stage where I can untangle everything. Yeah, this one came off quite nicely. It's just got that one root here at the top, and one here. And then the roots at the bottom, you can see, not the happiest. I'm probably not gonna keep those roots. I'm gonna just get rid of those and start again. I'm also gonna cut it. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it there. Just put that over there for now. This, oh, wow. She's quite bare. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah, this one's looking kind of fairly bare. So have some rootage which is great but we've clearly lost some leaves i'll cut that one there and yeah i think i'm just going to start again with this one as well so we have that Ooh, this one's got quite a bit of rootage. But again, we've got like quite a long stem. I do actually remember losing quite a few leaves. So I'm going to chop that. I'm actually going to get rid of that leaf. Um, maybe I'll just wind that into a pot and make that one little plant. And we've got loads of sphagnum moss, so that's good. Just try and hydrate this. Real quick. Yay. Oh, this feels Really good. I mean, this plant was absolutely gorgeous actually at one stage. Um, where's the rest of the plant? So, these are the pieces that I'm planning on keeping to size up, and I'm probably going to add that one as well. First, I need to get this out of here. Oh, and I've not really thought about a pot either. What kind of pot am I going to use? And maybe actually what I'll do is this. Try and moisten it up a little bit. Um, 
yeah whilst that's doing that maybe i should look for a pot what was the pot that it was in oh so it was in a glass vessel this one which i think i'm going to use for my Anthurium forgetii, I think that's what I want to use this vessel for now. So maybe. Is that going to be too big for it? No, it's perfect. And this one would be too small, I'm guessing. Yeah, that one would have been too small anyway. So maybe I'll use that with that. Okay, we'll go with this one. I can always change it. I mean, once it's on the pole, it's on the pole. So the reason why I'm taking all this one off is because I want it to sit a little lower on the pole. So that's kind of necessary. Okay, so we have some roots. She's looking fairly rooty. Okay, so we are here. I really hope I didn't lose any roots. Don't think I did though. Right, so this hole is gonna sit back in here. We're gonna put liquor balls at the bottom. I'm probably gonna reuse these ones actually but I'll just give them a wash. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna reuse this. Try not to be too wasteful. Oops, hello. Wow, I'm making a mess. I'm making such a terrible mess. Right, so I'm just gonna go off and give these a bit of a wash. And yeah, and I'll be back. I'm back. Well, everything feels very close. Let me just pull this back a little bit. That's better. Okay, I've got all the things. Okay, right. <laughs> Woo. Now I just want to get some pawn in the bottom of this thing. I've gone so it's pretty much the same inside the pole as it is on the outside I might just add one more scoop that 
now I just I guess I just need to start putting these on to the pole so this leaf at the bottom I might take off well I am taking it off so that I can get this as far down as I possibly can and then we'll just put the roots Ooh, my goodness Right hole. And the right hole. Okay, that's that one on. Looking pretty. quite warm in here. Oh, I can't wait to just swap my wardrobe around as well. Right, get all my summer stuff out. That's that one. Then we've got this little busy one which actually doesn't have much of a root system. So maybe I should put this... I don't know, let me think about that one. This one has plenty of roots. We're definitely going to put this one on. Like that. Let's flip you around there. And then if I can get those two nice and snug, that would be amazing. Wow, I can't believe how quiet it is. Okay. They're both on. Oh, thank God. I'll probably go back and with sellotape again because I did kind of like that uh, just need something to pull that through. Okay, it's in. So here we go. You can see that the roots are in the pole. Most of them. Just not those bottom ones. I really need you in there, girl. I'm going to look for my sellotape. Okay. Zinky, it's so cute. And then this guy, which I haven't actually put on. Um, so I need these now. And then let's see if we can squeeze this little guy in. the root goes in it's all good okay oh my gosh it's on fabulous right now we just need to get the moss pole stuffed and we are good to go oh, I'm so happy
actually before I do that, I just need to put something in there. So I haven't attached the pole to the pot, so I need to be careful. I need to remember remember that I haven't done that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I think we're getting somewhere. So I'm really pleased I haven't hoovered yet. And then I want to tackle all the messy stuff today if I can. That would be amazing. is not hydrated at all so I'll probably put some fertilized water in there and then I think I'm gonna actually gonna put soil in this in this pot I don't think I'm gonna go pond I think that's gonna be better for the plant actually have some soil kind of mixed up but I'm just going to go straight on with this one I think am I going to do that yeah I am because I'm feeling very lazy so this is just like a house plant mix it's kind of finely ground um, cocoa core, cocoa husk. I've got some pumice and some perlite and bark. But it's all quite finely ground. Brilliant. She's done. And then I've got this cup. Which kind of sits in here. And that is how the pole will get watered. Let me just get some water. So I'm going to use this squishy bottle. I've got like some great white in there already. And in here I've got some fertilised water. I use liquid gold. I'll show you what that looks like actually. Okay, liquid gold leaf great stuff if you haven't discovered it yet check it out um, I've been using it now for over a year and I've definitely noticed that my plants respond very well to it so yeah I'm now just gonna put some water in the pole and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen to this little baby I really hope it responds well. Okay, that's one down. 
Isn't she like a dovey boss? Now, let's tackle these guys. So I'll probably just pot these up and um, yeah, I'll do like, probably sell them to be honest. Don't know if I want to keep them for myself. I mean, she's quite pretty. So I'll probably put that one in one pot on its own, like just like that. Yeah, let's do that. Got a load of pots ready, which is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this pan again. in with this kind of very basic we've got a bit of sphagnum moss in there yeah i'm just going to go ahead with this very basic soil and just wind her in like that oh hang on let's just get that sphagnum moss off That's that one. Should I try and get this in as well? Yeah, that works. Okay, that's better. one little pot and then we have these now these are probably propagate get those little wash and yeah i think i'll i'll probably propagate those oh they've got such lovely big leaves it's such a pity isn't it but yeah i'm gonna just put those in a glass of water so yeah i just gave them a little rinse mess and I'm just gonna let's have a look yeah I'll cut oh I don't know I'm gonna keep that like that and I think I'll keep that one like that as well and we'll just plonk them in some water and see what happens well they'll definitely root that's this little one sorted and it has been watered. Let's move on. Okay, so I want this out of here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to soil with this plant. It just seems to be struggling, so I think that's enough. And what size pot should we go for? This one, probably that one. Yeah. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to use this. Um, I gave it a rinse. And where's my scooper? Yeah, I gave it a rinse and I don't know. I'm just gonna reuse this. Whatever comes out, it be too good anyway. So the reason why I like pond at the bottom, just in case you haven't watched any of my videos, I like to put pond at the bottom so that if I do go on holiday, I can just leave that in like a pot of water. And yeah, they will kind of be maintained whilst I'm away. 
So yeah, I can put them in a tray of water, but just kind of making sure that the water doesn't go above above the pond. Well, it's actually pond and lacquer at the moment, but hey, that's fine. I'm not gonna overthink it. Um, some soil. Soil in the bottom, long hair on top, like so. very haphazard today but since I'm making mess anyway you know Trella. so I didn't add any kind of like worm casting or anything like that because there is actually worm casting in this soil mix and I kind of just want to get rid of most of this pre-made soil that I have so that I can start making my own soil mixes because I'm really enjoying that now again in the beginning I, I was doing soil mixes and then I discovered these kind of pre-made ones and got all bougie and lazy and while they are great mixes I still do like to there we go another one boom sorted um yeah i do like to kind of mix up my own but what i want to do actually i will be doing a video on my soil mix and i'm gonna i've got a box already waiting and i'm gonna do like a large batch of pre-made soil i have all my substrates and stuff out Oh, I went to the pound shop and they had more of these tubs. I was so happy because I really like these ones. They're kind of like round. I'll show you. These little pudding bowls. They're so cute. So I'm pretty much using that as a coaster. Like that. We'll give this one a bit of a water as well. with the last of the great white that's in here. Okay, that's that all gone. This pudding bowl actually, mm, okay, it's fine. Boom, there's another one. Next, let's just keep on moving. So yeah, I wanna do this little dude. more than happy to come out of that and that's going to go in this size pot i think i'm going to keep these left balls and hopefully putting it back into soil i mean it didn't do anything amazing in pond and the last time I had a really nice version of this plant before it got spider mite and the whole thing, it was in soil. So it'll be interesting to see actually um, whether it will react better in, in soil. Let me show you its roots. The roots are actually looking okay. They're just a bit dusty, that's all. I'm going to give this a bit of a rinse just to kind of wash off any fertiliser build up and I'll be right back. Brilliant. Nice and clean. Just a bit drippy. Yeah, we'll 
definitely get through the soil, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to move. Okay, that works. So it's kind of blocking, blocking you there. Plunk this little guy in. Oh, I really hope that it enjoys being back in soil. It's really fluffy, this soil, it's so nice. And I mean, it'll probably eventually I will put it into something a bit chunkier, but I think for now, just to kind of give those roots a bit of a boost, we are going to leave it in a substrate that, and also I won't have to water this quite as often, hopefully. next wow we are whizzing through these babies yeah i have these um litter balls as well which i took from a plant they've been washed and stuff I did, it was a soil plant so that's why i basically want to use this for the soil all the soil plants just like Try not to waste things, really. Okay, should that be deep? Yeah, that's fine. Let's get her out with this tub. We do have a couple of little balls. Get rid of those. And I'm not going to mess with it. I'm literally just going to plonk it in because it has not been the happiest. Well, I mean, it's not been unhappy. It's just that it's not been doing its kind of prayer type stuff. You know, it hasn't really been moving. It's just been lying flat like this, which is not my favourite. Okay, I mean, the pot does look a little on the large size, but I think it's going to have like a little more space and for some movement, hopefully. Is that one done? Oh, it looks kind of good. I quite like it. It's looking, it's looking better at least. Just need to find the right type of pot for it. Okay, let's put you to one side. Oh, I've done so many plants. Okay, just spilt water on the floor. Last, but certainly not least. Now this one, shame. It's the saddest looking plant in the world. But surprisingly, this one does actually stand up at night. So I don't know what that's all about. Okay, we've just cut off all the leaves off that stem. That's not good. Um, yeah, I 
And I'll just tidy them up and then we'll see what we can do, what we can save. I definitely want to save this plant. Um, I actually bought this. No, I didn't buy this. This, I actually got a cutting. I think it was like tea leaves. Um, and I managed to grow it into a fairly decent sized plant. But yeah, that does not look good. But as you can see, not doing so well at the moment but um i must say that during the winter this was living in a humidity box and it just didn't seem to like it and then as soon as i took it out it started producing new leaves so yeah oddly it didn't enjoy the humidity which just does not make any sense to me but I don't know. I do not know what that is all about. Mmm, the soil smells so good. It smells delicious. I can't explain what it smells like. Oh, look. It's got lots of rhizomes in there. We like that. So we're going to upsize as well. I'm going to renew these. Okay. I might need to add a few more. Oh, I can use some of these. Okay. Sorted. So. beautiful plant so let's see what can we salvage here I might just separate it although there were all those rhizomes maybe that wasn't a good move but there are some bits like this I don't understand what this is and take that out but yeah the rest can pretty much stay Hopefully I didn't, oh, the rhizomes are still all there, so that's good. And let's try and lift those leaves up. Quick and easy, that's what we like. Oh, that was brilliant. Okay. Let's up all this soil. I'm not going to waste any. It looks a little nuts, but yeah, I'm happy. That looks good. I think it get, it's got a better chance of doing something interesting, and that's just the only piece that I ripped out. Let's see if I can get this in here. Boom. I just need a little pudding bowl. And we can give that a bit of a water. Oh, I'm so happy. 
Oh, brilliant. I'll definitely keep you updated on this one. Well, on all of them. Hopefully we'll get some nice new leaves. Now I am very tempted to take that that off, but since it's the only leaf that's on this one stem, it's probably best that it stays, but yeah, that's that. Right. I was gonna do my splendid, wasn't I? So I was gonna do my splendid, um, but I do feel like this video might be really, really long. So maybe I'll do that as like a little short or, yeah, I'll probably do it as a short or I'll do another video with more repotting, I know. <laughs> I feel like all my videos, like I always manage to squeeze in a bit of repotting, even though it's about something else. But yeah, sorry about that. I hope that you also got some repotting done as well. And, or if not, that you've just relaxed and chilled whilst I kind of went through a bit of a frantic repot. But I got so much stuff done, oh my gosh. So here we go, let me just show you what we've actually achieved today. So we've got this little guy. I have two of these. Grab the other one. Yeah, I have two of these. Um, the little silver sword. My little Ranta that I need to find a new pot for, but looking so, so cute. Yeah, she looks adorable. And certainly not last, but certainly not least, this guy, which I am so impressed with. Let me see, is this moist enough yet? Mm. might need to top up its little water bottle and it probably needs a bit of a wash as well oh yeah it does but yeah i'm really pleased <sighs> i can't wait to see what it's going to do when it's going to size up and what happens next and we are going into spring summer so it's the perfect time to do it Anyway, so I'm gonna let you guys go. If you enjoyed the video, as per usual, do hit that thumbs up. It really does help. It helps me out greatly. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Switch on the notification bell. Apparently that is a thing. Who knew? <laughs> and I will see you here again very, very soon. All right, until then, bye.